I didn't got off to a rough start with all this rain, but it's uh, it's coming along. I just got done turning over the uh, soil this morning. Aerated it a little bit, get some air in that soil so it uh, dries up a little bit and thrives the plant plants. As you can see, I put my own remedy on the leaves so they won't get eaten. A little garlic, a little hot pepper, some uh, crushed hot pepper, chili pepper. It kind of keeps the bugs down a little bit. Cucumbers are looking really, really well. Really well. I just got to keep them going now. We're not getting much sun. There's just a lot of rain. So, but uh, it's coming. And, uh, it's right. Herbs are doing really well. This is peppermint. This is sweet basil. And this is uh, basil. This is a peppermint basil. And also this is a uh, sort of a peppermint basil also over here. They smell delicious. Tastes good too. Anyway, there's some uh, Japanese eggplant. That's not the come. I was a little worried at first, but uh, they're coming along. Yep, they're coming along. They're starting to take over from when I put them in the ground. Like I say, the weather's been against me a little bit. But um, it's coming. It's coming. The zucchini's very slow this year. But um, it's coming along. The rain hurt me a little bit. As you can see, Japanese uh, eggplant, and I got a couple of regular eggplants too. I want to try a Japanese eggplant. I heard a lot of good things about them. So anyway, here's my cukes again, but uh, they're doing all good. So, and my peppers, they look pretty good, but slow. Um, uh, peppers are always pretty slow in this, this type of weather. We don't have the right weather until another month or so. And some red uh, bells here, and those are regular bells, like they're green. And these are these are uh, banana peppers here, and uh, these are all jalapenos here for sauce and stuff like that. So a lot of jalapenos, they grow well. Uh, peppers, you gotta get them moving. You gotta get them moving. As you can see, something really attacked my plant, so that's why I'm taking all kind of precautions now with uh, some re homemade remedies, and uh, I try to keep it all organic. I don't want any chemicals in the garden. And this is this straw, old straw I had in the garden. I lined it up and I put some pumpkin, pumpkin seed inside the straw, and it's growing beautiful. Very, very good. I guess the heat from the straw really helps. There's another pumpkin. This is a zucchini. Well, you can see the, the leaves are yellow from the rain, but it's not to turn green again, so I, I think it'll be saved. And the squash, they took a beating from the rain, but they're coming back. Everything is not to turn green. So I just gotta dry this soil out some. And uh, we'll get these babies moving. Yep, we'll get them moving. As you can see over here, this is some more squash here, some zucchini. And uh, I got a pumpkin mixed in with the zucchini plant. <laughs> See where it goes. Anyway, this is this is one garden right here, and uh, it's all good. It's coming along. Yep, it is coming along. So as you can say, that's a good sized garden. Cukes should do well. They should do very well. Eggplant, I think we'll do well. It's still early to tell yet. And uh, now I gotta do the, uh, turn the soil over on the tomatoes. The tomatoes are doing pretty good. Um, as you can see, they're, they're really growing. Yeah. We ain't got much sun though. You know, like I say, it's, it's been rain, 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 and in the 50s at night, so that's not too good for the plants. But that'll all change very shortly. And uh, got to, I got one grape tomato over here that I have tomatoes on it already. See the little grapes? They're coming, so it's a good sign. Good sign. I gotta start stringing these so they stay up. Grapes are coming. Anyway, 
It's all good. A lot of work, it's all good. Yeah, once I turn this soil over here to aerate it a little bit, helps the soil dry out and uh, bring some life to these plants. One thing about the uh, shady weather, it, the plants do stay green, so just gotta get them to grow. And uh, everything's organic. No chemicals, no miracle grow, nothing. Just organic fertilizer. And uh, cucumbers, chicken manure. Uh, that's gonna they're thrive. As you can see, that's really thriving. Next year, we'll have plenty of chicken manure, so this whole garden will be thriving again next year. Uh, I just, if I can get half a garden like I had last year, I'd be very happy. I had a very successful garden last year. It was excellent. Over here, my daughter likes uh, uh, cherry tomato, so I put in a heavy duty cherry tomato right there. And you see that's taking over, that's coming in. And this is squash right here, this, this is yellow squash. And uh, they're coming up. Just gonna take time, gotta keep the bugs off of them. And make sure not too much water to rot them out. You see they start to turn yellow, but they're turning green again. And uh, over here, I plant some zucchini, only one plant took. So I guess I gotta get back to the drawing board here and you know, either that by started plant and just throw a started plant in so I can get plenty of zucchini. Uh, we all love zucchini. And um, these girls will keep this garden moving for years to come. Yeah, they know their job. In the winter, we'll let them free range in the garden and they'll clean up all the weeds and fertilize it. And uh, we gotta keep them out now because uh, they'll eat all my plants. But they will fertilize that garden. They will clean it right up. And uh, next year, that garden should thrive. But these girls are really got a job, big job ahead of them. Besides the egg production, and they're gonna keep my garden going. So anyway, all good. Uh, it's just a little video. I like making videos so I can watch them in the winter. <laughs> and it makes the winter go by a little quicker. Anyway, uh, thank you. Have a good day, everyone.